Hello friends, followers and channel members, a very quick video for you today in Microsoft Flight Simulator and following the Sim Update 12 that was released a few days ago, many people have been getting in touch and posting saying that they have been getting constant stutters and basically overall a much worse performance in Microsoft Flight Simulator than they were getting prior to the Sim Update. This has been noticed by users who are particularly flying the Phoenix Airbus A320, of which I am someone firmly in that category. The developers at Phoenix though have discovered a little issue, which you may or may not find is causing the stutters that you may be getting. If you are a user of FSUI PC, if you are, you'll know what that is. If you're not, then you won't need to worry about it because clearly you will not have it installed. But if you do use this, then this could be the issue for causing the sim stutters that you're getting following the update. Now, I use FSUI PC myself, and that is just because it links to the self-loading cargo program I use during our live streams. I don't use it for anything else. It's a little program that lots of developers for add-on stuff such as hardware and things can use but I don't use it for anything other than the self-loading cargo product but because it is running in the background since sim update 12 it has been found to be causing stutters there is though however a quick fix and I've put it to the test and it does appear to be working for me so you will need to download the latest version of FSUIPC if you are using it. The link to the website is in the video description or you can just copy it from the uh, URL you can see here on screen. Simply download the version that you require which of course would be for uh, Windows. Once that's downloaded and you've extracted the zip file you then just need to run the executable file. It then gives you the options to install the different parts of the software that you require. For me, who's just simply running the freeware version, just so it can communicate with self-loading cargo, I don't need anything else other than just the basic FSUI PC program, uh, which is also freeware as well. You don't need to register uh, the software in order for it to work. Once it's installed, the next thing you're going to need to do is to find the folder where you have installed it and you're going to have to access the configuration file, the .ini file. If this is missing in the installation folder, then simply just run the program for the first time and as you run it, it will create this file for you. So if it's missing, it's probably because you've not run the program yet to begin with. Once that's done, then you'll need to open this file with a text editor. And under the general heading, just anywhere beneath that prior to any other heading, then you need to enter the phrase number of pumps equals zero, which you can see me just pasting that in here. Copy this exactly. Once you've done this, then save the file and make sure it is back in its format of the INI format so that the FSUI PC program can read it. And then that is it. Everything is all done. You should be good to go. And FSUI PC should not be causing you any more stutters. So if this has helped, uh, or if indeed if it hasn't helped, I'd love to hear uh, from you guys if this has been a cause of your issues following Sim Update 12 with micro stutterings and uh, performance degradation. And let me know if this fix has improved things or whether it seems to have made no difference. As you know, whenever we get a sim update or a world update, something new from Azobo, we can't always seem to get that magic piece of code that pleases everybody. And someone somewhere has always got uh, an issue, which is a real shame because ultimately these updates that Azobo are providing are for the benefit of all of us on our amazing things. They are devoting so much time and effort and so many resources to making Microsoft Flight Simulator an absolutely amazing program. So but whenever we do get something that causes a little hiccup and an upset, if we can find ways to work around them so that it can fix any 
cause of problems that many of us may have then of course we all want to hear about it so if you know of any other tips or tricks that you've got to increase performance following the latest update then please do leave a comment down below and let me know how you're getting on if you have found this video useful please don't forget to leave a like and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell as well so you don't miss any future videos and of course our live streamed content thank you so much for watching i'll see you all again in the next one bye bye for now